everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Uh, this is Alexis Lozada. I want to welcome you to um, IBP Fundamentals webinar. And today, let's see, let's get started. So today, it's all about walking you through uh, the fundamentals of IBP and how you can think about uh, starting your supply chain planning digital transformation with Vest and Anchor. So hello, I'm Alexis Lozada. I'm the Associate Principal of Western Acker USA. I uh, just joined Western Acker after spending um, eight years with SAP as an SAP IVP product manager. And prior to this, I actually was a supply chain practitioner for a consumer goods company here in the United States where I was involved with um, supply chain strategies, customer logistics, uh, collaborating with customers in terms of improving the joint supply chain. Uh, as well as working in all types of initiatives like network optimization, um, you know, last mile costs and so forth. So it's been a passion of mine to be involved in the world of supply chain. And so I'm happy to walk you today about that. So what is the agenda for today? First of all, introduce ourselves at Western Acker, talk to you about who we are. Then we'll jump right away into walking you through what we believe are the fundamentals in terms of transforming your supply chain planning processes with SAP IVP. Why adopt SAP IVP? We'll walk through some benefits of adopting this um, uh, solution uh, and, and how it can influence your, your business, the bottom line, right? The value, there's gotta be a value for implementing this solution and transforming your supply chain planning processes. And we'll share some Western Acre customer success stories briefly, but then, I will try to finish one, two, three as fast as possible. So that way we can, I can show you a brief demo, a day in the life of a planner. Uh, I've built something that is comprehensive and it's gonna be more of an overview, not really a deep dive of the solution, but at least show you what, what you can see, what an, a planner can experience with the solution. And then we'll wrap up with Q&A and follow up. So let's jump right in. So we'll walk with, an, uh, what's the overview about Western Acre practice and innovations? We are a leading consulting SAP partner in digital supply chain. We have globally about 850 plus experts, revenue of, of around 100 million uh, euros. It's an employee owned company and it's been in, in innovation, uh, in the innovation space for over 53 plus years. We've been an SAP partner for 30 years and we have achieved organizationally a net zero carbon neutral. And so we are a cross solution expert in the end-to-end -end processes and digital supply chain. We, we have been SF 400 pioneers. We've been the first in implementing EWM, transportation management pioneer, first in yard logistics, analytics and planning pioneer, and which we're focused on today but also in innovation related to Internet of Things and manufacturing cloud innovations as well. We continue to grow organically, continue to grow in a, in a sustainable manner. Why Western Acre for supply chain planning is how we engage is we have the Western Acre approach. First, we start with developing the best fit processes and solutions, focusing on what the customer business impact will be. So we build this partnership uh, alongside with customers in order to develop that best fit processes and solutions. We also translate our point of view based on our experiences and how in, you know better implement better processes that can perform well and be sustainable. As I said, number three is we collaborate with customers, right? Uh, and building the competence and capabilities for them to to manage the change that implies to adopt new solutions in supply chain planning. Um, and of course, at the end, the combination of those things ultimately result in influencing the three legs that makes a solution successful, right? It's about processes, the, the delivery of the change management required to, to make those process changes, process transformation sustainable over time, where you can have teams capable of not only adopting but improving processes in a continuous manner and of course the IT component 
that comes with the technology, right? Implementation as, as it is. So these are our core competencies and the skills that we bring to the table to, to ultimately drive sustainable value to our customers. How we innovate? Well, we innovate because we, since we are end-to-end uh, -end, uh, experts in supply chain planning, in digital supply chain, we are experts in integrating all those processes and technologies end-to-end. -end. From the planning perspective, all the way to sourcing and procurement, the manufacturing aspect of it, uh, the warehouse and, and execution of, of the logistics uh, to make this happen, all the way to transportation and the connection of the supply chains to their business networks. You see listed here all the, the, the SAP product expertise that we bring to the table, uh, and we are able to build that complete vision, right, of, of supply chain management for, for customers. So again, today we're talking about supply chain planning, but Western Acker is, is innovating across all those integrated processes, and we have this end-to-end -end view of the supply chain management. So why Western Acker for supply chain planning? Well, we have we are part of a supply chain planning analytics practice. We've been a, a have over 20 years of experience in SAP-based planning projects. We have over 50 consultants worldwide with deep planning knowledge, uh, completed over 70 planning projects across the globe. Uh, we were the first SAP service parts planning worldwide implementation, among the very first in IBP, SNOP, BW, and HANA, uh, among the very first in also implementing SAP Analytics Cloud planning aspect of it, and of course, our, our, our expertise in supply chain. Uh, for IBP, S4 HANA, ESPP, and EPPDS as well. So our services, so what we offer is we go from the end to end, from design to implement, to support and improve, to train and enable and roll out, right? Or, or I guess the other way around, design, implement, roll out, train and enable and support and improve. So we help you with every step of the way in terms of designing the process, the, understand the assets, processes, understand your IT architecture, be able to build you know, roadmaps and the, the to be processes, uh, how to identify areas of change management in, in terms of that design. And as we go through the process and implementation, we focus on process implementations, the IT components of it, the project management or aspects of it, quality assurance, we do co-reviews, we do user acceptance testing, and we move out to the rollout, right, in which we have defined a rollout strategy, being compliant with local regulations and tax uh, uh, laws, uh, of course, being part of a global master data harmonization, being key to, to really trusting and adopting the solutions, and of course, we have a global presence, uh, so it's not, we are able to support several regions across the globe. Train and enable is about organizational change management, really uh, being able to train the right the right audience within the customers. Uh, of course, provide the, the standard and tailored trainings if needed. Uh, also, on because we're dealing with cloud technology, you know, it's it's all about the, the training as, as such. I'll get more onto the support and improve. We have an application management services. We, of course, stay with customers in terms of, you know, in the in the longevity of, of all these processes of the long-term roadmaps. Uh, we, we are part of supporting continued pro in, uh, process improvements, being able to uh, get to a level of maturity, right, as we go along with, with, uh, with rollouts and implementation. And, of course, incident management, being able to to support you in terms of uh, uh, issues related to the technology, as so to speak. So who we serve, we have really deep industry expertise uh, across the automotive space, the industrial machinery and components, uh, work with logistics service providers, consumer goods companies, uh, retail and wholesale, life sciences, chemicals, and so forth. And you see that we have very deep industry expertise uh, so it's, it's, we're, we're focused on supply chain, but it's supply chain across many, many industries, as you can see. Here's a, you know, for each and every one of these industries, this is a sort of a, a graphical example of all the customers that uh, we've, we've collaborated and we've implemented projects for. 
Um, as we say, we are where we are, where we are, we deliver projects on a global scale. So we have a growing global team with a presence in 28 cities and 21 countries. But of course, we share one vision. We're headquartered in Heidelberg, uh, Germany. But as you can see, we have uh, countries of uh, a presence across the globe, across many continents. And also, uh, we deliver projects across also many other regions as well. So in addition to that, as I said, we provide an application management service uh, that basically follow the song delivery model. Uh, so for countries that, uh, for customers, I'm sorry, for customers that have a global presence, we're able to support them uh, across those uh, uh, regions in a 24 seven manner. Uh, so this is just beyond just project implementation is about to be able to uh, provide support service across the globe. So that's pretty much what we are. So let's jump right into what is SAP IVP. So SAP IVP, right? It is basically the space where you can complete your plan to deliver process, essentially, right? And planning, of course, requires, has many components in terms of aligning with cross-functionally, and that's the starting point. IVP allows you to have in one platform the collaboration across your sales organization, your marketing organizations, your finance organizations, and as you, the supply chain management uh, manager uh, or director, right, can bring all this functions into IVP and collaborate and understand your long-term uh, a strategic plan. And this is something that you can accomplish within IVP. And this is what all sales and operations planning is all about. After that, as a contributor to that sales and operations planning, you move more into the tactical aspects of the planning in which demand and inventory play a key role into building that long-term sales and operations plan, balancing your, your, your business demand with its supply and be able to make decisions, decisions jointly uh, across the, the different business functions. Um, then after that, IVP, within IVP, once you build that long-term view, then you get into solving what is my, you know, basically the mix, what products am I going to make? Uh, what products am I going to deliver? What products am I going to purchase to be part, make my business plan possible? And this is where you have you know, techniques like response and supply, demand-driven replenishment. And as you can see, around all these processes, you have what we call a supply chain control tower. IVP offers this to be able to monitor alerts that touches every element of the solution, whether these are alerts related to your SNOP process or your inventory planning process or your demand process, even your response and supply. We, IVP also connects downstream because as part of the plan to deliver, it's able to connect to SAP S4 HANA to complete down to the delivery aspect, your production planning, your available to promise, and be able to complete MRP runs in S4 HANA. Outside of this, is, is a, there is a connection between your long-term planning and also with the SAP business network, be able to share key information uh, especially forecast of procurement, for example, with the SAP business work network solutions to provide greater visibility to your key key vendors, key suppliers, right? So again, it's about creating the optimal executable business plan, right? That will help grow uh, uh, your revenue and increase market share, be able to do this orchestration that is required across functions, right? And be able to have that single platform to, to uh, uh, make those, those decisions across the, the, the key stakeholders of a business. Supported in this long-term planning and in in, in, in mid-term planning and even short-term planning, the demand uh, uh, a solution in IVP allows you to use a, a wealth of algorithms that are embedded in the solution. Uh, that includes advanced machine learning and AI algorithms, algorithms be able to find the best fit forecasting methodology uh, and, and improve the accuracy of that forecast, uh, the ability to automate those forecasting processes. But even beyond that, if, if, if 
some of these algorithms don't fit your your business needs for, from a forecasting process. Uh, it also has the ability to connect to external forecasting algorithms as well. So it, it is a very power, powerful solution that demand uh, um, application within IBP. Uh, and there is plenty, plenty of wealthy, uh, 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 very, very strong algorithms that are the latest uh, uh, forecasting, uh, use the latest forecasting technologies and, and, and be able to fit with, with your business needs in terms of your forecasting. Uh, then you have inventory. And what truly differentiates the inventory module in IBP with its competitors is this is the multi-echelon inventory optimization solution. And when, and when we say multi-echelon, IBP offers the ability to optimize your end-to-end -end supply chain network from your finished materials across its own distribution to the manufacturing or processing of those finished materials to the raw material components that are used for that a, a, a manufacturing process all the way to the sourcing to the vendors of that raw material component. So it has the ability to consider the entire network and be able to produce an optimal uh, inventory positioning uh, uh, projected not only to support your sales and operations planning process, but even uh, uh, be able to understand what those inventory investment requirements are, right? Ultimately, it's about making, helping you maximize the efficiency of managing inventory and the working capital invested uh, while protecting for that customer service level. Then we have our response and supply, which is, you know, as you move from your long-term planning to your mid-term planning, then it comes uh, the, the, true, the true area of, of delivery, starting improving your delivery in your business, which is the response and supply module that is where you can complete your tactical and operational supply plan, right? The constraint optimization and priority rules driven algorithms really help you have an understanding of the capability that you will need to meet that, that business plan, right? That future demand that is being aligned as part of your SNOP process. So there are plenty of, of features in this, in this solution to help you with your supply, especially your transportation supply, your production supply, as well as understanding your procurement supply, right? Uh, and it includes advanced features like gating factor analysis and so forth. From this perspective, this is the area where, I, um, you know, uh, um, I, the IBP team is investing in, in terms of synchronized planning, uh, be able to be more connected in between your, your, your planning and your production and so forth. And we'll get, we'll, we'll get more into that, but again, Supply, all of these processes are, are also uh, are supported by having that end-to-end -end visibility, right? So in IBP, you're able to uh, truly have a full visibility of each planning process, as complex as they are, and be able to understand that what's happening in your extended network. And so with Control Tower, you can have intelligent visibility in terms of understanding potential alerts, right? So your, your planning decisions are focused on those exceptions, not the rule. Uh, and so it's all about helping you be exception focused rather than you know, trying to manage the complexities of, um, of, of all the data that is used for supply chain planning. It helps you with root cause analysis and, and be able to immediately find resolutions or make decisions about those those alerts right and, and and those exception activities that are key right and so the nice thing about all, all of this across supply chain control tower is also there are some foundations right that are important within IBP the application it helps you with you know manage your master data which is you know being able to to improve the confidence and correct uh, uh, the data that is being used for planning decisions, right? So there are a lot of foundations in which foundation applications within IBP that can help you improve the quality of your master data. Uh, lately, it's it's been uh, uh, a focus in terms of using machine learning techniques to be able to help you in a very easy steps, be able to identify problems with your master data, be able to fix them in a massive manner, right? And more efficiently manner. So there are a lot of good good features in this product that not only helps you manage and create collaboration functionally uh, across every planning process from SNOP to inventory to demand 
to response and supply, but it's able also you can collaborate in terms of improving the quality of that data that is being used, being able to identify issues that will ultimately lead you to make the most accurate or the most the most confident planning decisions possible. Um, again, DDMRP is a, is an is another methodology that is new in the industry, and so IBP also provides. Uh, uh, that capability being able to to it especially covers the steps one through three in the five step methodology and, and so the demand driven capability is able to identify your your strategic positioning and and be able to to calculate those buffer levels uh that are key as part of this ddmrp process and again connecting to this sap sap s4 hana is about creating feasible master production schedules, right, and rough capacity planning that are, are will influence your, your production planning and scheduling, right? So this is why the, uh, 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 the connectivity with the SAP S400 production planning uh, is, is, key, is key as part of the IBP uh, planning process. And again, as I mentioned, it's about sending, being able to collaborate with your vendors and be able to, to connect with them, provide them visibility, right, in terms of you know what are your your future requirements uh, and and be able to get those commitments from those key vendors right so there is an ability to connect with your end tier suppliers uh and and be able to share your planned requirements right and be able to secure that key supply especially your key su supplier uh networks um be able to connect with them and 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 have you know commitment that whatever the plan will be Will be able to be executed and be able to manage that risk uh, of supply into the future. So, how, how do we map this uh, IBP portfolio well, to the planning processes? I think I've touched already uh, on this, right? But you can see that on a quarterly basis, there is the business planning process, uh, and you're looking at, you know, perhaps your plan in the next five years. This is something that is supported yeah, as part of your SNOP process. So, IBP can be the source of your business planning uh, where you can complete that quarterly business planning update uh, and draw elements uh, uh, from, from the IBP sales and operations module. Uh, from a monthly perspective, of course, as, a, as you go through the cadence of your monthly SNOP process, this is what is connected to the IBP SNOP. Uh, then as part of your sales and operations planning, of course, IBP for demand and IBP for inventory uh, play a role as, as basically on the contributors to your unconstrained demand and inventory requirements. Um, the same thing goes as you move into a much shorter uh, 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 processes in terms of your master scheduling, IBP for demand sensing, for instance, can help you uh, uh, make better decisions as far as your master scheduling is concerned. And then, of course, as we get closer to, to the time of delivery, right, IBP for response and supply has a, a place, a key role in your master scheduling. And then, of course, getting more into the detailed scheduling, this is more of a function of ERP and S4 HANA, right, in terms of completing your production planning, your MRP, your PPDS processes, and so forth. But you can see here the connection, right, in between the, where the space from a planning process perspective, uh, where SAP IBP plays a role uh, in terms of going from your strategic planning that can be connected into your SAP analytics cloud, uh, be able to solve the questions about what the budget and volume will be. Uh, then it gets boiled down to the mix decisions, right? What materials am, am I going to distribute, make, and purchase? and then the sequencing in which that delivery happens, right? And so you can see the connectivity between all the, the modules in IBP and how they're connected to each and every one of those processes from your long-term all the way, your strategic planning all the way to your tactical planning. So a little bit of a solution highlights. Uh, of course, I'm, I'm probably missing a lot of the features, but at a very high level, right? What are those solution highlights? As I said, from left to right, Supply chain control tower gives you that visibility where you can create custom alerts that are pertinent to your business case, create that intelligent visibility 
for that end-to-end -end view of the, of the supply chain planning process. Uh, then you go into your sales and operations. It's basically being able to support the traditional process steps in, in sales and operations planning from your demand review all the way to the man, management business review. Uh, there are some innovations here where you can actually have a, a carbon footprint analysis as part of your SNOP process as the topic of sustainability in supply chain management is becoming more and more, more uh, uh, of a fundamental topic or a necessary topic for, for us. And then lately, there's been some aggregated network cost uh, features that have been added to the sales and operations solution where you can actually construct, have complete disability to, based on your plan, your long-term plan, you can have an understanding of those aggregated supply chain costs. And, and again, once again, it's about creating visibility and be able to understand you know, what my plan cost will be from a supply chain perspective. Then you get into demand where it, this is all about uh, advanced forecasting where you have, you know, a, as I mentioned, access to a lot of forecasting uh, methodologies, including demand sensing. Uh, you can uh, determine, you know, the forecast error and do that forecast error analysis that is key in terms of your demand planning decisions. You can do time series analysis. But most importantly, you can also manage what's key to any business, which is the introduction of, of new products, right? And so the product innovation element of your supply chain management can also be handled as part of your demand. And that has a connectivity, of course, in your sales and operations plan as well. Then you jump into inventory where you can actually uh, uh, calculate what the demand variability component is or will be used for inventory planning. You can run your multi-stage inventory optimization, as mentioned. You can do a scenario planning and inventory. Uh, uh, given the multivariable nature of the inventory application, you can run all types of, of, of scenarios that are pertinent to that uh, uh, inventory investment decision. There are some new features that will come along, like service level calculations, sort of a, 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 a post-morting analysis in case you need to override that safety stock uh, you want to understand what the impact would be to that customer service level and so forth. Then you move into, again, response and supply, where you, you know, you comply your supply. It, it helps you uh, run an optimizer for your supply review. You can do supply and allocation planning, both using a heuristic and optimi optimizer methodologies. Uh, you can have response planning in case of changes. Deployment planning as well uses an optimization analysis to do that deployment. Uh, considering transportation costs. Uh, shelf life planning for some industries are key. So part of constraining or determining your constraint supply, it, it has to consider the, the shelf life of those materials as well. And lately, uh, new innovations in the area of transportation load building are, are capabilities that are recent where you can actually construct those, those transportation loads as well. Uh, and then, as mentioned, there are cross applications that are uh, um, amazing, and we'll get a, a little bit of, of a taste of it today, where you can do ABC, XYZ segmentation. If segmentation is an area of importance to your business, that can be done there. IVP offers all types of analytics, be able to do analytics charts, put them in dashboards. You can construct analytic stories, which is the most recent innovations, uh, and I'll show a demo later today on that. Uh, but then, there's a, a complete investment in the area of planning UIs. You'll see today that I'll give you examples of, for instance, uh, Microsoft Excel. This is really important. For instance, in, as part of the business transformation, a lot of planners are used to Excel. And, and, and if there is a choice to manage all these processes via Excel, you can do so with SAP IVP. But then there are investments in Fiori applications like Planner Workspace where if we want to leapfrog or move away from the Excel-based management of supply chains, uh, you can move into a planner workspace. Um, what's nice about the SAP IVP is that all these planning UIs come with, with uh, predefined templates. So for any implementation of SAP IVP, uh, the first steps is to, uh, in terms of adoption and training, there are standard templates that are available in Microsoft Excel, uh, in, in Planner Workspace, even dashboards and so forth, and I'll show you examples of that. Collaboration is, is, is key, right? As mentioned, there are so many stakeholders in the supply chain planning process. 
So half the capability via SAP Jam or the most recent built work zone are areas where you can have exchanges and collaboration within the platform without the need to move somewhere else. Um, and then lately, there's been some partnership and collaboration uh, with other SAP partners in terms of um, helping identify supply chain risk management. Um, and I believe the most recent one is related to the sales and operations uh, area, but that's a topic where, you know, talk about resiliency and sustainability, right? So there are elements of sustainability with the footprint analysis in your SNOB process, the same thing goes with it, being able to identify elements of supply chain risks. Uh, of course, a plan is subject to all types of risks, right? So being able, able to manage those, have an understanding of the impact of those risks, or even be able to make decisions to mitigate them uh, are, are key to, to the planning process as well. So again, uh, uh, there are so many things I could spend hours talking about the different uh, highlights across all the modules here, but this I thought will be important for you to know. So again, how are these? So from a solution perspective, we've we've touched planning processes, what's behind it, but how are they connected? And in this solution, you can see here that as I mentioned, you go from your tactical to your midterm operational, short-term operational, and execution steps. But as you look at this slide you can see that the blue boxes here contain all the steps that are uh, a part of, of the IBP solution. So again, tactically, on a monthly basis, you're completing your, your SNOP process, right? And there are dependencies in this SNOP process on the financial planning uh, that are, is connected to the management business review. The same thing goes with the marketing plan that is an input into the sales planning process. But you see the four blocks that are important as to complete that SNOP process, your demand review, where you, along with marketing and finance, you come to a consensus demand plan. Uh, then you're able to understand your ability to uh, uh, supply that, balance that demand with the supply, right? And as part of this, you need to be connected to your inventory plans all the way to reconciling that dem constrained demand and being able to reach a final consensus. As you can see here, inventory plays a role in terms of consuming that aligned demand or constrained demand plan and be able to then provide as part of that supply analysis. The same fashion, you see the demand planning process that it helps with the sales planning forecast forecasting process, but also being able to build that consensus demand um, and so you see the role of demand planning that it, it, it consumes the, the final consensus demand plan, but it's also be able to feed, you know, the midterm operational inputs that are required for, for inventory planning, for providing commitments to your suppliers with SAP Arriva, uh, be able to have be an input for allocate supply allocations, right? Uh, but also all the way to the short-term operational planning, demand planning provides that sense demand capability to be able to understand you know, changes in that demand that could have an influence on in your short-term operational execution. And this is where you go also in the areas of response planning, deployment planning, and transportation load building. This is the moment of truth where, the, of truth, where you can build those supply proposals, confirm sales orders, uh, determine distribution plans, uh, be able to create transportation uh, load requisitions as well. All of it in the short-term operational planning connected to the execution aspect, right? So you see the connections here that go from your tactical all the way to your execution uh, and the different cadences that are that are important in supporting that entire end-to-end -end supply chain planning process. So this is how they are all connected and all connected not only to uh, your finance, marketing, and sales organizations, but also connected with your procurement departments, with your transportation departments, with your production departments as well, right? What's important about IBP, and this is a little bit of a technical uh, uh, slide, but what's important about IBP is that it comes with, it helps you determine what elements you need to integrate into the solution. So I'm jumping more into the area of you know, what is the correct tool to integrate data with IBP? So this is a little bit of a decision tree uh, in terms of what 
what should be uh, uh, the type of integration you need to use, whether it's uh, using the cloud integration for data services or using real-time integration. Uh, so you see here where what to we, you can go from what to integrate to what communication is scenario, what type of object you need to, to make that decision for. If it is order related, then it's more about using the automatic real-time integration. If it is more about loading data, uh, you can do this manually, uh, or you can do build integrations where you can connect directly with your ERP systems, uh, including SAP ERP systems like ECC and S4HANA as well. Then also on the right-hand side, you see that there are communication scenarios that are important, right? You can see that we can connect IBP with Microsoft Teams, as I mentioned, with collaborative solutions like Build Work Zone, SAP Jam. Um, it's connected to UI theme designers, so a lot of user interface and so forth, as you can see, including the ability to, to connect with the Analytics Cloud solution and SAP Ariva as well, where you can uh, uh, part of the outputs of your supply chain planning processes can be connected you know, for those strategic planning on the, in the case of analytic cloud or connect to your business networks with your suppliers, right? In terms of sharing your, your forecast commitments with, with your vendor networks. This is a little bit of the system architecture. This is an example for the time series planning. Um, so again, uh, within all, all of these models are backed by SAP HANA. Right? and the ability to, to design attributes and key figures, be able to run a scenarios and simulation, predictive analysis, heuristics algorithms, as well as optimization algorithms, build process workflows, case and alerts, uh, and create that collaboration Right, in terms of bringing all the key stakeholders that will help shape up that supply chain plan. And you can see to, to the left-hand side, you know, the connectivity uh, via the data services on a kind of cloud platforms, right, with the rest of other other systems as well. Um, you have connections via Microsoft Excel, as I will show as an example. You can consume the data via web. You can consume the data via mobile devices as well. So that's a little bit of an overview, a wrap up on on the the IBP as a highlight. So I'm checking time here. So success. So why 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 uh, implement IBP, right? SAP, Integrated Business Planning for Supply Chain. This is at a very high level, right? W how this solution can help and drive benefits. It can help you with reduce uh, sales and operations planning costs, improve the demand forecast accuracy, right? And be able to be more closely react in preparing your supply chain to react more quickly to changes in demand, uh, like I said, increase that sales forecast accuracy as well, being able to reduce inventory uh, and the implications that that means. That maybe means reducing inventory is, is less investments in working capital, available cash to you. But the fact that you are removing inventory across your supply chain, that means that you also limit the amount of, of inventory loss, right? Uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the form of obsolescence, for instance, or damages as well. You can improve your on-time delivery performance, be able to increase revenue uh, uh, and reduce that revenue loss due to stockouts, um, increase the, the, the planner productivity, right, in terms of using a standard analytical templates and dashboards. And by creating that common collaboration platform, it helps you make decisions, uh, create a level of visibility and transparency uh, to make decisions, uh, you know, uh, with, with greater speed, right, and, and be, be able to build consensus faster than you will typically would if you don't have a single platform of collaboration of decision making, especially being able to see and share the same data. Uh, that is typically the factor that, you know, there's a lot of miscommunication or non-decision as far as of, of the supply chain planning processes. This is something that I borrow from a presentation that I saw recently by SAP. This is these are data that uh, has been is a compendium of Aberdeen and Garner case studies and also benchmarks from the SAP value engineering team. But these are the value of, of a mature integrated business supply chain planning uh, solution, right? And so you see the benefits here. You, as I mentioned, is about putting numbers, ranges of numbers of how your business can improve when you mature 
within and uh, uh, with a supply chain planning solution like integrated business planning for supply chain at SAP. But you can see here, uh, in my own experience, for instance, in the in the world of inventory, you you've seen some you know depending on the maturity of your processes or or you know very manual processes disconnected processes when it comes to inventory planning for example you know uh, the ibp for inventory solution could actually help you remove about 30 percent of your inventory right and while protecting or improving your service levels for instance so this is just for reference and then of course you know western acker has had uh, a deep experience on uh, across many customers but for the interest of time I'm just going to go wrong quickly, but these are some of the, the, the ex, uh, implementation highlights that we've had, the double benefits that are, are, for instance, in this case of this customer in Austria uh, by implementing the SNOP. There are cases where, you know, the, the sales inventory and operations planning at Norgren was able to have not only an end-to-end -end view of the entire value chain, right? So talk about visibility, right? Um, and you see the amount of massive uh, uh, ability to, to manage, you know, massive amounts of SKUs as well. Uh, in the case of war work as well, improving their stock levels, uh, integrated demand planning, uh, be able to build a mid to long term demand plan, transparency across different functions. You see that that this is just beyond the numbers. It's about transparency, be able to build capabilities that customers didn't have before. Um, this is Electrolux, right? A multi-tier inventory optimization case. This is a beautiful case where, as I mentioned, they remove significant amount of inventory uh, while still improving or maintaining their customer service levels. So I'll skip for now because I think let's jump into uh, demo mode. And what I've done is uh, here. Here is what the Fury Design, the web UI. Uh, uh, is for IBP, where you can see that this is, you know, tile base and complete different functions. Um, but for instance, I built a dashboard uh, for this demo, and you can see that all of these templates that you see here, all these dashboards were actually predefined as you set the planning area in IBP. So you don't have to start from scratch the system right away. Uh, gives you this as standard templates, right? And so you see where you can complete your, you can do segmentation analysis. There are some, you know, of course, um, standard templates for that, demand planning, the demand planning forecast error, uh, the inventory process. You can see here all the steps related to the SNOP process uh, as well. You can also, as an, another option, we built this beautiful demo in the latest managed analytic story uh, application where in a very quick, simple example, you can you know, do your, complete your demand review, have a visibility to your supply review, and also your balancing review. And, and you can see that you can design this in a very easy way uh, to, for instance, start with reviewing your demand. Uh, and the system is, is moving a little slow today. But again, this is the type of analytics you can build in, in this application where you can see your your statistical forecast bias percentage and error, uh, a projection of your actual quantity consensus demand plan, comparison, uh, have a view of your forecast accuracy, uh, have a long-term view, as mentioned, of that statistical forecast. Uh, again, com do comparisons of your statistical forecast with your actuals and your sales forecast and, and what that consensus demand plan will look like over the future years. Uh, have a more narrow view of your accuracy across product groups and so forth. Again, not, not to go too deep in every one of the charts here, but this is the type of, of standardization you can build. That you can come to your supply review and, and, and also uh, have a, 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 an analysis of the capacity utilization uh, of, of your and have a, a visibility to your production plan as well your production receipts for, for groups of family and so forth. But when we go back to the dashboard here, you will see that, uh, for instance, you can come and analyze your inventory plan uh, where, again, with the help of, of supply chain control tower, for instance, you can identify what product families and what location had zero safety stock recommended. So you can review as to the reasons why. 
there are some safety stop delta alerts that you can also build and have visibility to this type of uh, of okay where what products and what location uh, have you know alerts and it looks like almost every one of them have an alert in this case but again uh, this is the type of analysis you can do uh, in the case of multi echelon optimization for instance you'll see that per network I can have a view of the different echelons and where my safety stock is invested so you you see that the customer facing location have you know a, a quick amount of, of safety stock but then upstream as I see a lot of safety stock is being invested in the form of given that there is a lot of supply variability right so this is the type of visibility that you can get for instance with the IBP for inventory solution you can run a scenarios and so here I took in a scenario uh, I, I'm comparing the results of an scenario okay so if I'm able to reduce the lead time uh, of, of across my vendor networks what would the impact be on my safety stock and as you can see by lowering lead time from suppliers I can have an understanding of what that safety stock investment is right so I I can actually take this work with my procurement department or whoever is in charge and be able to identify what suppliers we can work in terms of uh, having a, a lead time reduction in plan because as you can see it drives a significant amount of safety stock into your network so this is this is how you can actually build use cases with an IDP and be able to connect with the execution aspect as well right so beyond just all the planning processes and how they're connected to one another uh, you can leverage IBP analytical scenario planning, for instance, to be able to uh, build use cases that can actually lead to improvements in, for instance, in your supplier lead time execution, uh, because you have an understanding of what that will mean in terms of your inventory that you're holding because you have low lead times across your vendor network. Um, and then again, uh, you have the ability to build all types of analysis, uh, have a projection and so forth. So not to jump into too much since we have 30 minutes left, uh, you can see here that, again, this is the Fiori UI, but these are also the standard types of templates that you can uh, have access via the Excel add-on. Um, I absolutely didn't have to touch any of this uh, you can just download this, this is standard templates for, from their best practice content uh, that the SAP team provides. Uh, and here you see that you know, I can go step by step uh, validating all the inventory uh, uh, inputs, right? From demand to transportation to production and, and, and inventory policy. Uh, then also I can have another standard template where I can you know, analyze my inventory results. And here you can see that I have my standard key figures that are relevant for my inventory analysis and so forth. But just to give you an example, you can build all these favorites. And as you can see, I have downloaded all the templates for the time series planning process uh, that starts with you know, your historical data cleanse for your demand planning process that goes all the way to creating your supply plan heuristics as part of your SNOP process. But you can see here, that all of these are standard templates uh, that you can, you don't have to, I mean, you don't have to build this from scratch. These are provided to you as well. So again, um, this is really uh, the capabilities that I wanted to show today. Um, again, if we go back to, uh, again, so, so you see here this, just to delve a little bit more details, right? In your supply plan heuristics, you have visibility to your customer demand all the way to, you know, do uh, be able to have visibility to your capacity analysis per resource uh, and understand your capacity utilization of your resources across your locations and your operations. Um, again, uh, so you see here, you know, projections and so forth. And these are standard templates. This you can customize them depending on your on your business needs, of course. But this is a starting point, so to speak. And you you know, it's a much nicer way to start, you know, viewing the results of, of obtaining IVP. So let me go back uh, to presentation mode here uh, and and open it up for Q and A. Uh, this is me, a picture of me. You've been looking at me in a video, so I I, I want to thank you for this. 
Of course, let's work together. Today was just to give you an overview of who we are as in Western Acker, the level of expertise we provide uh, in, in the supply chain planning and space. Here's my contact information. Uh, please reach out, more than happy to get more into the details, right, of how to transform your supply chain planning processes and, and be able to understand your journey, where you are and where you wanna go. And we'll work with you every step of the way. Thanks everybody, enjoy the weekend.